Being down two games in a playoff series isn't unfamiliar to the comeback kids of Colorado, so it wasn't shocking to see Denver bounce back strong with their backs against the wall. However, it was the way Denver's role players and ultimately their superstar Jamal Murray answered two desperate but equally scary Lakers scoring runs that did the trick. From trash talk to physicality, this game had everything, but for the moment, it does appear the Nuggets are firmly back in this series. There were some shocking and incredible storylines in this game, so let's jump straight into the action. The Nuggets had a very balanced scoring attack offensively, of course led by their top-notch dynamic duo Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray, but Jeremy Grant stepped up to the table in big-time fashion tonight, and it was clear Mike Malone put a massive emphasis on not letting Anthony Davis dominate like he did in the first two games. Watch Nikola's quick hands here to snatch this rebound as Davis was flying in with all the momentum to try and get the putback. Davis tries an advanced dribble combination here, but again an example of active hands when guarding Anthony Davis from a Denver player, as Millsap just does an outstanding job getting great balance in his defensive stance and locking up on the perimeter. On this play, when Anthony tries to get his typical post-up magic going, he's blitzed by Paul Millsap and forced to give it up. But LeBron James saw Davis being game planned for as an opportunity to get his game going early on. Here, James freezes Jeremy Grant with a hesitation move to finish on the left side of the basket with his right hand. Very next possession after grabbing the defensive rebound, this time LBJ just pulls up for a smooth foul line jump shot back-to-back -back dominant buckets in transition. Despite this looking like a moving screen on JaVale McGee, LeBron puts an in-and-out dribble with his offhand on Jokic, bursting into the paint with abandon. However, the brilliant core of the Denver Nuggets weren't going to let LeBron get in their heads, and they had contributions from all five starters in the first quarter. Jamal Murray runs off a perfectly spaced out stagger screen that knocks Danny Green to the floor, and Murray's poise and balance does the rest. We knew Jeremy Grant's 7-3 wingspan made him an elite defensive weapon, but he showed off some all-star-like abilities on the offensive end that I don't think many people thought he had in his repertoire. Grant put up 26 points in Game 3 of the West Finals, which was his playoff career high. In an end of shot clock ISO situation, take a look at how Jeremy's long strides, length, and handle allow him to blow past LeBron James off the dribble. But early on, the theme for the Nuggets was Nikola Jokic being extremely aggressive. The Joker was relentlessly getting to his spot, as even after missing this runner, he moves JaVale McGee completely off the block and gets the putback easily. In the post, take a look at the finesse from the Serbian phenom. Jokic spins baseline and gets Kyle Kuzma guessing layup on the right side of the hoop, but instead goes up and under to the left side. However, Denver proved their success isn't only driven by one or two players in Game 3, as without Jokic on the floor at the end of the first quarter to early in the second, Denver got 14 points combined off the bench from Monte Morris and Porter Jr. That led Denver to a 17-2 scoring run. The Nuggets went up by as many as 18 points midway through the second quarter. Monte Morris, as I mentioned in my Laker Nugget prediction video, is showing he can swing a series with his scoring. This man's just a flamethrower. The Lakers' defense was fouling way too much. Denver was in the bonus with six minutes to go in the quarter, but it was defensively where they'd begin their first overpowering run of the ball game. Here, Alex Russo gets in the passing lane with a deflection and then locks up Jamal Murray in the corner. After the Lakers' defense forced a shot clock violation, finally the star of Game 2, Anthony Davis, started to find his rhythm. When the Lakers could have gone down 20-plus points, the brow kept them in it, scoring nine straight points for LA. The play of the first half, though, was the mesmerizing Sombor shuffle from Nikola Jokic to beat the shot clock, with Davis hounding him on defense. Just an insane shot which helped the Nuggets to their first halftime lead in seven games. Contavious Caldwell Pope went on a 5-0 run to start the second half. He hops into a three-point shot on the fast break and then rips Jeremy Grant to lay it in on the other end. But the Lakers' over-aggressive defense was costing them for a second stretch in this game as again they were in foul trouble early in a quarter. LA was in the penalty all the way back at the 9-11 mark. When Murray elbowed LeBron in the jaw, there was an instant review and flagrant foul. But for some reason later on, when Rondo elbowed Jamal, there wasn't even a review. Midway through the third quarter was where the pick-and-roll combination of Murray and Jokic started opening up everything for Denver's offense. Here, KCP flops after Nikola fails to make contact with his screen, 
Murray then kicks it out to his big man, who finds a perfectly spaced out Gary Harris in the corner. Elusive pass from Jokic. This time, Jokic fakes the pop out to the three-point line, cuts to the basket, and hits a masterful runner in the lane. Then Jokic slips the screen, but instead of Jamal connecting with Nikola, Monte Morris gets a wide open look from the mid-range. To close out the third, the breakout star for Denver these playoffs and Jamal Murray started to take over. He sauces up Kyle Kuzma with a beautiful behind the back dribble and step back. He blows past Markeith Morris, gets into the lane, fakes a pass to Porter Jr. to get Caruso off him, and hangs in the air to hit a ridiculous shot. And in more dominant pick and roll action, Murray finds the breakout star of the game, Jeremy Grant, for a layup. The momentum Murray established for himself carried over into the fourth, and it culminated in this ridiculous jam. This was eye candy. You also gotta love the blue arrow, mean mugging after he throws it down. One of my favorite players in the league for sure. And after Jeremy Grant nicely closed out on Davis, forcing an air ball, you'd think this game would have been over. But the Lakers came storming back for the second time of the night, this time with a 14-2 run. It was the zone defense that Frank Vogel utilized out of a Denver timeout that really swung momentum. Watch how the Laker defense plays on a string, keeping three defenders in the paint and two on the perimeter at all times. Down the stretch, the Nuggets' offensive rhythm was completely stunted. Rajon Rondo was the biggest beneficiary of this zone defense from LA, as he got three steals in about two and a half minutes. It was incredible. And before you could blink, LA had cut a 20 point lead down to three in about five minutes of action. Here, Caldwell Pope plays some incredibly effective defense on Jokic, forcing an embarrassing air ball. The desperate Laker defense down the stretch made some dominant rotations to the basketball. They were all over the Nuggets, who showed their youth a little bit trying to close out a game in the conference finals. However, the Nuggets' rising superstar at guard kept his poise. First, Jamal fakes a spin on Caruso and swiftly steps back to hit a clutch deep range bomb. Here, Murray makes a beautiful pass to Paul Millsap in the paint after LeBron and Kuzma thought he was taking another jumper in the lane. And to close it out, Murray holds the ball away from Caruso, as you saw in my thumbnail, gets a screen from Jokic, and somehow drops this in to seal the deal. Murray and Jokic did. Taunting Murray? all the way down the court, this picture describes how the night went for Denver. Given the responses shown from both these teams throughout Game 3, I don't know about you, but I can't wait for Game 4 on Thursday night. Subscribe so you don't miss many more NBA videos breaking down the action, as well as basketball stories and predictions. Be sure to follow me on Instagram where I update you on my channel and the game we all love regularly. But this was DFlow, and I'll see you next video.